Stuff there, thank you. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. And it's the great one in its center filling out the middle. And for the Timberwolves, Chris Paul out there with Kobe Bryant. Then there's Johnson, and it's ABC in a power forward. And for teams outside the playoff hunt, that 1-2-3 Ken Coon champ is going around now, Clark. I think former player Nick Van Exel, supposedly the originator of that 1-2-3 champ on BA. You wonder whether some airlines might want to use that one for a marketing slogan for themselves. Here's the kid. Pass to ABC. Here's Askins. Robinson defending. And the basket by Askins. And that gets us rolling. Whew. What a tremendous atmosphere in here tonight. Boy, I tell you, you're right. You can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout. Setting an aggressive tone early. Challenging the heart of that defense. The steal. The kid with a rebound. Here's Black Hole. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. And we're about a minute into the first. Here's Johnson. Puts it up from 12. It's rebounded by Askins. Here's the kid, covered by Johnson. A nice shot by the kid. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's ABC. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Bryant outside. Launches it. And Johnson gets it to go on the assist by Bryant. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. Pass to Paul. On the take. And it's slammed in by Paul. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to the kid. Knocks it down from distance. He's got five. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. He's got a clear path. Here's ABC. That one is off. Johnson with the defensive effort. Snatched away. On the break. And it's Black Hole missing. It's Johnson with a drive. Oh, misses the dunk. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. And it's ABC missing. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And he knocks down the first one. So both teams making some changes here. So he picks up just one from the line that time. For San Antonio, they've gone five of nine from the floor. Offensive rebound. Here's Outlaw. Here's Buckets. And finally, that one's good. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the glass. Thomas misses. The Spurs have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. And as the postseason nears, these power rankings really shape our expectations for the playoffs. You look at the Spurs, they slipped a bit. Still in the top 10, though. 
Well, I think for Minnesota, they've gotten into a slump. The season has not gone as planned. You get the sense that they're discouraged and they can't find any answers. Shots good by Buckets. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. There's the steal. Isaiah Thomas. Here's Buckets. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Throws it up high. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Hill can't connect. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. And so it's San Antonio ending the quarter up 10. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well, that's why they're up. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone, and welcome back to NBA Basketball here on 2K Sports. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for San Antonio. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. The other thing that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A lot of points coming on the run. They've got Johnson, and it's Thomas in at the point. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. As a Rookie of the Year award winner yourself, Grant, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing today's rookies? I honestly think with all the information and expectations, the hardest thing for young players today is meeting those expectations because of all the great rookies who've come before and gone on and had success right away. That pressure, a lot of times, can be a lot for a young player entering the league. And that's good as he hits both shots. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Here's Buckets. No good from outside. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to Johnson. Soft touch off the glass. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, B.A. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Ooh, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Timberwolves. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. Pass to Insanity. Robinson with the block. Outside, Hill. Three-pointer. That shot is off. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Coming off a win against the Hornets. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor, because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. And here's Bryant outside. Can't hit. One for two now. Here's G. Knocks down the long J. He's got five. With the defense trying to protect the interior, he pulls at the arc and drains it. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Pass to Robinson. And the shot goes in. Yeah, I like the interior game of Robinson. Really does a nice job with getting deep position and then going to work. Here's Insanity. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. 
it's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. Here's Johnson, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Boy, the court awareness of Magic Johnson, coupled with his 6'9 size, make him as unique a point guard as we've ever seen who does everything for this team. The baseline J is on the way. Left side Robinson. Hill for three. And it's ABC with a rebound. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent. And that's always important in a close game. And here's Bryant outside. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Kobe and Bryant. Bryant is the total platinum-level package. A lethal shooter, an exceptional defender, a flat-out assassin on offense. And most importantly, this guy's a leader, too. And he hits the first of three. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And he nails the third. The Spurs have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Knocked away. Stolen by Bryan. Pass to Robinson. Rebound San Antonio. From deep three-point range. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Twelve straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Outside Paul. Shot clock at six. From deep, Johnson. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Johnson's got five points now this quarter. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Bryant. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Forty seconds left in the second quarter. Johnson passes to Johnson. They now take the lead. Johnson's got seven points in the game. After an okay first quarter of shooting, they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. Pass to Paul. Kicks it out to Brian. From deep. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. From deep, Johnson. Tie game in Minnesota. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Coach Greg Popovich. And, Coach, a hot start for you shooting the ball. But in what areas could you improve as a team? Well, that's all we're seeing. Neither team's playing any D. It's like an offensive extravaganza. And nobody wants to guard anybody. Well, I'm sure you can inspire them to play better D in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. The first quarter was a difficult one for Minnesota. It didn't appear that their energy level was anywhere near as high as it needed to be, and the period ended with them in a 10-point hole. They came out in the second quarter with a lot more energy and with some nice offensive stretches and were able to even things up before the half. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. They did some good things, but not enough. They need to start being more assertive. Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. Do something. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Yeah. 
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Minnesota with the ball, and so in the game for the Spurs. And it's the kid in at the shooting guard position. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Well, I tell you what, guys. The kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Pass to the kid. Tipped away. Robinson with a steal. To the left side wing. Paul for three. He drops it from range. Paul's got nine points. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. David Robinson. Thomas, he's checked in for Brian. And the Spurs making a change here. Pass to ABC. Sends it home from three-point land. Seven points in the game. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. The shot by Johnson, no good. San Antonio trailing here. Insanity. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Stripped it away. Here's ABC. Ooh, Paul with the block. Chris Paul, such an outstanding defensive player. And his teammates appreciate that he gets steals, but he also can occasionally get a block shot, too. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. It's stolen by Johnson. Tipped. Now the Spurs moving it up the floor. And they'll get another chance. Insanity gets the bucket. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Now here's Paul. Not a lot of room. Knocked loose. Pass to Johnson. Five to shoot. Out of bounds. It'll be Timberwolves ball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Here's Pippen. He's got five. Hill for three. Doesn't go that time. Pass to Buckets. Here's Freak. No good. A bit long that time. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Outside Johnson. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Johnson's got ten points. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Just in this quarter, he's turned it over three times. Not sure what's going on with him. 127 left in the third. There's Thomas. The rebound by the Spurs. Here's Buckets. Oh, there's the alley! Here's Thomas. Good on the bucket. And now a four-point Minnesota lead. For San Antonio, they've gone four of eight in the third. Here's Buckets. Checked by Hill. Two open that time. Made it look easy. 
He's got six. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Buckets can't hit. Minnesota's gone six of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Pass to Thomas. Here's Pippen. Off target from three-point range. For San Antonio, they've gotten five of ten shots to go. Outlaw. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And that makes it a tie ball game. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Bill the pass to Johnson. One second left. That one drops for him. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game. Both teams putting up points in a hurry. Timberwolves ahead, leading by just two. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. They've got Kobe Bryant, and it's Thomas in at the one. Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh. Watch out for the big finish. Bryant skying high to slam it home. Always looking to stuff with style. San Antonio's gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Pass to Askins. Poke loose. Here's Freak. Covered by Bryant. Blocked! And he's able to get it back. G's shot is good. Minnesota in the lead. Here's Johnson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. The Spurs making a switch here. And Johnson drops them both. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Pass to Askins. Here's ABC. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Johnson. To the inside. Robbed. Here's Askins. Robinson defending. Johnson passes to Johnson. Bryant outside. Here's the three. Pure from three-point range. And the Timberwolves lead by seven. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for Minnesota. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. You also can't overlook how well they've defended the rim as they've challenged every shot and blocked quite a few tonight. I'll tell you what, the speed of Paul is still there. It may be a little deceptive, but it's still real. Hard to keep pace with him on the drive. For San Antonio, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Who poked away and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's San Antonio with it. Bryant, the pass to Robinson. Deflected! Magic Johnson. Here's the kid, covered by Bryant. Well, guys, if you want to know why the score is what it is, look at their turnovers this quarter. That's been the culprit, the turnovers. I mean, T.O.'s, those kinds of mistakes have really kind of drained their confidence to this point. Count it. Good. And it's an 11-point Timberwolves lead. When he catches the hot hand, 
good luck trying to slow him down. Plays so under control, can spot up, drive, create for himself. A matchup nightmare. Timeout called the Spurs. It, it's simple. Turnovers mean you lose shot opportunities, and your opponent can get easy hoops. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. Yeah, really the standout element of his game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Greg Popovich's huddle. It wasn't feel-good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Thank you for that, Allie. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. This has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. No good on the triple. For San Antonio, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Count the basket. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. Bryant, the pass to Robinson. Kicks it out to Bryant. And it's going to be a three-second call. And the Timberwolves making a change here. For the Spurs, this one not looking good. That's tipped. Nabbing another steal. Got to be careful around him. Man, he's been incredible at coming up with steals. Well, you got to respect the speed of Bryant. He is so fast when he's got room to run. A minute 20 left in the game. Now here's Paul. Drives to the hoop. And it's slammed in by Paul. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Timberwolves. And they cut it out this win. Didn't look like their night at certain moments, but they overcame every obstacle, Grant. Yeah, B.A., just an incredible comeback. Toughness in the face of adversity. You love to see that level of commitment to winning. And this will give them their 28th win of the year. And they fought hard for this win, guys. No one wants to get swept in a season series, even a short one. Most definitely. I mean, even though you see opponents outside of your conference only twice a year, you still don't want to have that feeling of being swept. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. Pass to Pippen. Back to Bryan. Outside Johnson. From the arc. And another three for Minnesota. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it. They've done it. Shots blocked. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Here's Billups. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. And we'll see you next time.